Have you ever wondered where soy sauce comes from? This delectable, dark, and savory condiment has become a staple in kitchens across the globe. It's the silent superstar that elevates our sushi, gives our stir-fries that distinct umami kick, and adds depth to our marinades. But have you ever stopped to consider its roots? Soy sauce, a humble yet powerful ingredient, has a story that spans centuries and continents. Its tale is as rich and complex as its flavor profile, intricately woven into the fabric of various cultures and cuisines. From the bustling street food markets of Asia to the polished countertops of high-end Western restaurants, soy sauce has made its mark. But where did it all begin? The genesis of soy sauce is shrouded in mystery, its origins tracing back to a time when recipes were passed down orally and culinary traditions were the heart of cultural heritage. It's a journey that takes us back thousands of years to ancient civilizations that first discovered the magic of fermentation. The history of soy sauce isn't just about a condiment, it's a narrative of human ingenuity, of cultural exchange, and of the universal language of food. It's about the evolution of taste and the quest for that perfect flavor balance. It's about the simple soybeans journey from a modest legume to a globally cherished flavor enhancer. As we embark on this exploration, prepare to uncover secrets and debunk myths. We'll delve into the science behind the sauce and trace its evolution over time. We'll discover how soy sauce has evolved, adapted, and innovated to cater to a changing world and its diverse palate. Oh, and don't worry, we won't leave you hanging with just history and science. We'll also explore the vast landscape of soy sauce variations that exist today, from the traditional to the artisanal and everything in between. So are you ready to unravel this gastronomic mystery? To dive into the fascinating world of soy sauce that goes far beyond your sushi roll? If so, then buckle up. The journey is about to begin. Soy sauce's journey through time is as rich and complex as its flavor. Let's turn back the pages of history and embark on a journey, tracing the origins of this ubiquitous condiment. Our story begins in ancient China over 2,000 years ago. Amidst the rise and fall of dynasties, the hustle and bustle of markets and the sizzle and aroma of street food was born a culinary masterpiece, soy sauce. But its creation was not a pursuit of gourmet refinement, rather it was a practical solution to a pressing problem, the scarcity and expense of salt. Salt was a precious commodity, and like gold, it was often used as a form of currency. Its value lay in its ability to preserve food, a crucial factor in times when refrigeration was centuries away. But salt was not easily accessible to everyone, especially for those in the inland regions of China. So what could they do? Cue the ingenuity of ancient Chinese cooks. They developed a method of fermenting grains with mold, creating a paste that was rich in flavor and importantly, in salt. This paste was mixed with water and left to ferment in the sun. The result? A liquid that was salty, savory, and packed with umami, a flavor that the Western world wouldn't even have a word for until the 20th century. This liquid was the early precursor to what we now know as soy sauce. But it wasn't made with soybeans just yet. It was only around the 2nd century AD that soybeans started to replace other grains in the fermentation process, thanks to their high protein content and superior flavor. Over time, the process was refined and perfected, creating a sauce that was more complex and flavorful. It was a blend of sweet, salty, sour, bitter, and umami, all in perfect harmony. This was a sauce that could elevate any dish, a sauce that was worth its weight in gold, or in this case, salt. And thus the humble beginnings of what we now know as soy sauce. Now from China, the soy sauce started its global journey. Like a drop of ink seeping into a pool of water, the influence of soy sauce began to ripple outwards from its birthplace, permeating the culinary landscapes of neighboring countries. As traders and travelers carried this liquid gold across the seas, it found a welcoming home in Japan. The Japanese, renowned for their mastery and harmonizing flavors, embraced soy sauce with open arms. They adapted it to their palate, introducing their own spin by fermenting soybeans with wheat. This gave rise to a milder, sweeter version of the sauce, which we now know as shoyu. Shoyu soon became a cornerstone of Japanese cuisine, complementing their delicate and nuanced dishes with its subtle yet profound flavor. Close by in the Korean peninsula, soy sauce was also making waves. The Koreans with their penchant for bold, robust flavors transformed the sauce to suit their culinary style. They developed ganjang, a variant of soy sauce that's deeper and richer, with a complex umami profile. This Korean soy sauce became a key ingredient in their iconic dishes, 
from the fiery kimchi to the comforting bibimbap. In other parts of Asia too, soy sauce marked its territory. In Indonesia it evolved into kikap manis, a sweet, thick syrup that's nearly black in color. In the Philippines it paired with local citrus to form toyomanzi, a tangy, savory condiment. Each country, each region, each kitchen it touched, soy sauce adapted and evolved, blending seamlessly into local cuisines and cultures. It didn't just travel, it transformed, taking on new forms and flavors while still retaining its essence. It was no longer just a Chinese condiment, it was a culinary chameleon, a global flavor enhancer that could bridge cultures and cuisines. Soy sauce had now become a staple in many Asian cuisines. It had traveled far from its humble beginnings in China, weaving its way into the fabric of diverse gastronomic traditions. And as we'll see in the next chapter, its journey was far from over. It was just getting started on a path that would lead it to become a global phenomenon. But soy sauce didn't stop at Asia, it had the whole world to conquer. As the centuries rolled on, the irresistible allure of soy sauce began to seep beyond the borders of Asia and into the far reaches of the globe. This humble condiment, with its complex flavors and versatility, was about to make its grand entrance onto the world stage. So, how did soy sauce first venture westward? The answer lies in the bustling trade routes that crisscrossed the world, connecting cultures, cuisines, and commodities. Imagine, if you will, the intrepid traders of yore, embarking on perilous journeys across land and sea, their vessels laden with precious goods, and among them, the dark, aromatic elixir we now know as soy sauce. As these traders docked at European ports, they introduced the continent to the wonders of the Eastern world, including this unique, flavor-packed condiment. Intrigued by its depth of flavor and versatility, European chefs began experimenting with soy sauce in their kitchens, incorporating it into traditional dishes and creating a fusion of flavors that was nothing short of revolutionary. In the heart of Europe, soy sauce became a culinary sensation. From the rustic kitchens of Italy to the refined dining rooms of France, this Asian import was embraced with open arms. It added a new dimension to soups and stews, brought a unique twist to sauces and dressings, and even found its way into the world of baking and desserts. But it wasn't just Europe that fell under the spell of soy sauce. Across the Atlantic, it was making waves in the New World as well. From the bustling streets of New York to the sun-drenched beaches of California, soy sauce found a home in the melting pot of American cuisine, adding a dash of umami to everything it touched. And so, the story of soy sauce's global conquest unfolded. It traveled from the humble kitchens of Asia to the high-end restaurants of Paris, from the vibrant markets of Italy to the trendy food trucks of New York. Everywhere it went, it left a lasting impression, changing the way we experience food one dish at a time. Soy sauce was no longer just an Asian phenomenon. As soy sauce traveled, it evolved. It's a simple statement, but it holds a world of flavors within its grasp. As the salty, umami-rich condiment journeyed from its birthplace in China, it began to change, adapting to the tastes and needs of different regions. In the rolling hills of Japan, for example, the traditional Chinese soy sauce took on a new identity. The Japanese developed a variant known as shoyu, a soy sauce that is lighter, thinner, and with a distinct sweetness. This wasn't merely a culinary decision, but a reflection of the Japanese palate and their love for subtle, delicate flavors. Meanwhile, in the bustling markets of Indonesia, another transformation was taking place. Here the soy sauce morphed into Kikap Manis, a syrupy, sweet sauce that is as much a dessert ingredient as it is a savory one. It was a testament to the Indonesian love for sweet and spicy flavors, creating a unique version of soy sauce that was a world apart from its Chinese cousin. And let's not forget Korea, where ganjang, a byproduct of making donjang a fermented soybean paste, claimed its own place in the family of soy sauces. Ganjang, often called Korean soy sauce, is deeply aromatic and rich, a reflection of the hearty and flavorful Korean cuisine. Even in the West, soy sauce was not left untouched. It was often used as a base for Worcestershire sauce, blending with vinegar, molasses, and other ingredients, to create a punchy, tangy condiment that has become a staple in many Western kitchens. So, from the sweet and syrupy keycap manis of Indonesia, to the light and delicate shoyu of Japan, the hearty ganjang of Korea, and the tangy Worcestershire sauce of the West, the humble soy sauce has truly become a global phenomenon, its flavor and form adapting to the tastes and cultures of the world. The single name soy sauce was now representing a family of sauces, a family that continues to grow and evolve much like the cultures and cuisines it has journeyed through. But what makes soy sauce? Well, soy sauce. At its core, 
Soy sauce is a simple blend of just four ingredients, soybeans, wheat, salt, and water. But don't let this simplicity fool you. It's the intricate process of fermentation and the interplay of these ingredients that brings out the rich, complex flavors we associate with this ubiquitous condiment. Picture this. Soybeans and wheat are mixed together and then inoculated with a fungus known as aspergillus. This might sound a bit off-putting, but stay with me. Aspergillus is a friendly fungus that kickstarts the fermentation process and helps break down the proteins in the soybeans and wheat into amino acids. This mixture, now known as koji, is combined with salt water to form what is called a moromi, or mash. The moromi is then left to ferment for several months, during which time, it undergoes a transformation. The proteins continue to break down into amino acids, while the carbohydrates are converted into sugars, and then alcohol. The result? A deep, dark liquid brimming with umami, the fifth taste that can best be described as savory or meaty. Umami is what gives soy sauce its mouth-watering appeal, and it's all thanks to the process of fermentation and the magical work of enzymes. But the science behind soy sauce doesn't stop there. The fermentation process also produces a variety of other compounds that contribute to soy sauce's unique flavor profile. These include aldehydes, which impart a nutty flavor, and phenols, which lend a smoky note. In essence, the science of soy sauce is a study in the art of transformation. It's about taking simple, everyday ingredients and through the power of fermentation, turning them into something extraordinary. Soy sauce, as it turns out, is a science experiment that we all love. Fast forward to today and soy sauce is everywhere. A statement as simple as it is true. Soy sauce has permeated every corner of the globe, making it a familiar sight in kitchens and dining tables, from the bustling city of Tokyo to the quiet townships in the English countryside. Soy sauce's journey has been nothing short of remarkable. From its humble beginnings in ancient China, it has evolved and adapted, finding a place in diverse culinary traditions around the world. Today it's not just a condiment, it's a global flavor enhancer, adding depth and character to dishes far beyond its original Asian borders. Whether it's the umami-rich kikaman in Japan, the sweet and thick keycap manis in Indonesia, or the light and fragrant tamari sauce often favored in gluten-free cooking, there's a type of soy sauce to suit every palate and every dish. It's become a staple in marinades, glazes, and dressings, lending its complex flavor profile to elevate simple ingredients. In America, soy sauce is a key player in barbecue sauces and even in cocktail mixology. In Europe, it's used to intensify the flavors in stews and casseroles. And let's not forget the role soy sauce plays in the world of fine dining. Top chefs often use it to enhance their creations, drawing out flavors and adding that extra oomph to their dishes. But soy sauce isn't just about taste. It's a symbol of shared culinary experiences, a testament to how food can cross borders and bring people together. Its presence in global cuisine speaks volumes about our interconnected world, where flavors and ingredients travel, mix, and evolve. And while soy sauce continues to adapt to the ever-changing culinary landscape, it never forgets its roots. The traditional brewing methods are still very much alive, and artisanal soy sauces crafted with time-honored techniques are highly sought after, a testament to the enduring appeal of this versatile condiment. Soy sauce has truly become a global flavor enhancer. Its journey from a simple Chinese ferment to a world-renowned condiment is a testament to its incredible versatility and enduring appeal. And as we continue to explore and innovate in our kitchens, there's no doubt that soy sauce will remain a beloved staple, enriching our meals and tantalizing our taste buds for years to come. So, what's the truth behind soy sauce? Let's take a moment to reflect on the journey we've embarked on today. We've unraveled the mystery of soy sauce, a condiment that's become a cornerstone in many of our kitchens. We journeyed back in time to ancient China, where the humble soybean started its transformation into a flavorful elixir. Fermented with wheat, salt, and water, it was a process of careful nurturing and patience. The story of soy sauce then took us on a voyage across the globe, from the bustling ports of China to the shores of Japan and then onto the rest of the world. It's a tale of cultural exchange and adaptation where recipes were tweaked to suit local palates, ultimately birthing the diverse range of soy sauces we see today. We then delved into the evolution of soy sauce, exploring how traditional brewing methods have been retained, while new technologies have been embraced. This balance between tradition and innovation has allowed soy sauce to retain its authenticity, while also catering to the demands of an ever-evolving global market. The science behind soy sauce was also touched upon. 
how the simple act of fermenting soybeans with wheat and salt creates a complex symphony of flavors. It's a testament to the magic of food science, transforming humble ingredients into a sauce that's sweet, salty, bitter, and umami all at once. We also took a look at soy sauce as it stands today, a global phenomenon. It's found in everything from our favorite sushi rolls to our BBQ marinades. It's a testament to its versatility and universal appeal. And that, my friends, is the fascinating story of soy sauce. From its humble beginnings in ancient China to its status as a global culinary staple, it's a testament to the power of food in connecting cultures, sparking innovation, and creating flavors that transcend borders. It's not just a sauce, it's a story of humanity's love for good food and the lengths we'll go to create it. And that, my friends, is the fascinating story of soy sauce. I hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of soy sauce, a humble condiment that has found its way from the far corners of the East to our very own kitchen shelves, a sauce that has a history as rich and complex as its flavor profile. Its story is a testament to the power of human creativity and the universal language of food. So, if this journey through time and taste has intrigued you, if you found yourself marveling at the depth and breadth of soy sauce, then I urge you to hit that like button. It's a small action but it sends a big message. It tells us that you appreciate the effort, the research, and the passion that goes into unveiling the truth behind everyday things. But the journey doesn't stop here. There's a whole world of flavors, histories, and stories waiting to be explored, and you can be a part of that exploration simply by subscribing to this channel. When you subscribe, you're not just signing up for notifications. You're joining a community of curious minds, of food lovers, of history buffs, people who believe that there's always something new to learn, something new to taste, something new to experience. And lastly, if you think this video has added a dash of knowledge and a pinch of intrigue into your day, then why not share it with your friends? After all, food is best enjoyed when shared, and the same goes for knowledge. So go ahead, spread the word, and let's make the world a tastier place, one soy sauce bottle at a time. And remember, each like, each subscription, each share, helps us in our mission to uncover the stories behind the food we love. So join us in this journey, lend us your support, and together let's make every meal an adventure. Thank you for watching, stay curious and keep exploring the world of flavors.